I'm here in my guest bathroom and I painted the floor in here, painted the vanity, really spruced up the entire space, except for the shower. It's from the 90s and this flower tile is a bit outdated and not exactly my style. But today I'm gonna change all of that using Rust-Oleum's Tub and Tile product. This is something you paint right over the tile, right over the bathtub, and you're left with a fresh, white, clean slate. As with most painting projects, it's all about the prep work. So we have a lot of cleaning and prep to do before we start painting. To make sure the product adheres well, you need a super clean and dry surface. I start by scraping out the caulk along the base of the tub with a caulk removal tool. Once that's all out, it's time to start the multi-step cleaning process. I fill a bucket with water and bleach and wipe everything with a sponge. Then, time for a heavy-duty cleaner. I grab Comet and an abrasive pad and really scrub the surfaces. You want to remove all traces of mildew or soap scum, so really put your back into it. After the comment, I use Lime Away and scrub, scrub, scrub. I then rinse everything with water. One more step before it's time to paint. I grab some 400 grit wet, dry sandpaper. This is my first time using wet sandpaper. You can soak it in water overnight or for at least 15 minutes before using. I use small circular motions with the sandpaper to rough up the surface. This will help the paint stick to the tile and bathtub, so don't skip it. After sanding, I rinse the tub well and let it dry for an hour and a half. I then go over the entire surface one more time with sticky tack cloth to ensure there aren't any lingering pieces of dust. Next, I tape off my shower fixtures and the walls surrounding the tile. Finally, it's time to paint. This paint is a bit stinky, so I safety gear up. The mask helps with the fumes and I also open the bathroom window. Rustoleum's tub and tile product comes with two cans, part A and part B. I pour part A into part B and stir away. To apply the paint, I'll use a combo of a roller and brush. For the roller, you'll want to use a quarter inch short nap roller. Those first few strokes are a bit scary. There's no turning back now. Eventually I get the hang of using the product. I brush it all in one direction, feather it out on the edges, and do my best to not overwork the paint. The brush works well for the corners and edges, and the roller is key for the large surfaces. It looks good after one coat, but it's a tad spotty and I can see my flower pattern still. I let the paint dry for an hour and then add coat number two. You'll want to get your two coats on within six hours. I end up going through two kits of product to completely cover the bathtub and shower tile in here. The next day, it's dry to the touch, but not cured just yet. I carefully caulk the bathtub surround using silicone caulk. I let the space dry and cure for two more days before moving back in. I'm standing in our shower and tub and it feels like a brand new space in here. It's white and bright and crisp and that flower tile is gone. For more DIY projects, head to my blog, thediyplaybook.com. 